Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So whoever I'm speaking to, I got a lot of messages for you. So grab your Red Bull, grab your tea, grab your neighbor's dog, your little dog, whoever's little dog. You're gonna wanna be sitting for this message. I'm so excited. You guys have headphones in. We're gonna be hitting the bell a lot for this one. Order in the court. Order in the royal court. Order in the royal court. You feel me? This is for my royals. Whoever I'm speaking to. You're royal. Did you know? If you resonate with this message, you know. And you're just figuring it out. And you're like, what do I do now? Okay, I'm royal. Oh my gosh. What the F do I do? Do other people know? Other people knew before you. That's right. Other people knew before you knew, and now that you know, you're like, <laughs> I am so excited. Let's jump in. The message that I'm getting is you are not for everybody. And there is a reason why you are not for everybody. There is a reason why you are out of this galaxy. There's a reason why you seem not of this world. You stand out alone. You don't run with the sheep and you have power and boundaries. Comment down below. My power is in my boundaries. My sweatshirt that I decided to wear says take no shit and do no harm. This is the power that you guys are stepping into. Okay, so it says it little right here, but on the back, let me see if I can turn around so you guys can see it. It says, take no shit and do no harm. I think it has like a snake on it too. Um, but either way, this is one of my favorite, favorite sweatshirts. And it's really cold right now. So I'm like, you know, what? I'm going to wear this. And then I realized, oh my gosh, it ties into the message. Yes, it does. You guys are going to be feeling safe safer than you've ever felt. And do you want to know why? Because you're going to be cutting out the BS. You're going to be in isolation. And I don't mean isolation in a bad way, like you're going to be trapped in your house and like not knowing what to do. You're going to be in isolation, like a cosmic divine isolation, where all of the noise you're removing, you're plucking out. So what I wrote down is you need to have your zero, you know what's on deck. Your zero, you know what's on deck because you are royal. You are going to start rocking the crown that you deserve. And instead of adapting to what the other sheep are doing, that's not what you're meant to be doing. You're not meant to be adapting and, and getting along just to get along. You are meant for something bigger. I also heard Johnny Cash. I heard because you're mine, I walk the line. Because you're mine, I walk the line. Because this path, this is yours. Like it cannot miss you. And so this is an incredible chapter, new beginning in your life that is exciting. It is pivotal. It's monumental. I can't even think of the words, but like a lot of big words, okay? Don't close your heart. Do not close your heart off because there's chaos around you. Do not close your heart off because people are acting really stupid right now. Because this is yours, you can walk the line. You can do it. I'm telling you. So I got, do not close your heart. You can walk this line. There is pow there is what there is power in your boundaries. You need to have your zero fucks on deck. Take no, do no harm. Take no ish, none. Then I wrote equalizer. Okay, so I was thinking of walk the line and equalizer. Now, Equalizer used to be a show, and 
Then Denzel, I freaking love Denzel. He's probably one of my favorite actors. I love Denzel Washington because he reminds me a lot of my father and what I, I wish he could have been and what he seemed like to me when I was a child. And then it's like, as I grew up, I started to realize he was quite the opposite of that. But in my mind, as a very small child, I thought my dad's like Denzel Washington. He's like Wesley Snipes, like he's the baddest, he's my hero. And you know, things shift, our perspective shifts as we get older. You are coming through like the equalizer. You don't need to adapt to anybody. You are on a bigger mission. I want you guys to comment down below if you've seen Walk the Line or if you've seen Equalizer. I really like Walk the Line because I went through a really hard time in my addiction and my using alcohol and using drugs. I went through a really hard period. And so when I watch Johnny Cash when he was in all of this pain and to still come out on top even though his parents didn't care for care for him and it Johnny Cash's situation also reminds me of my situation with my parents like nothing is ever going to impress them no matter what so whoever I'm speaking to you guys can have family like this I'm hearing Shania Twain that don't impress me much that's how your family acts with you that's how your job acts with you. It doesn't matter if you are at the top of sales. It doesn't matter if you are doing better than everyone in your arena. Everyone in your work environment. It doesn't matter if you are doing the best in your family. They're like, that don't impress me much. And now you guys are not only stepping into this crowned position, your sovereignty you are becoming the equalizer. You are, bec you are walking the line. So you are turning off the noise. You got your zero. You know what's on deck. You're like, I ain't taking no, no ish. None. So you are starting to release this negative programming. This programming where, it's, where they were telling you, yeah, that doesn't impress me. And you were doing the most because you wanted them to be proud of you. You wanted them to see your value and see your worth. And now you are seeing that you have to clean house. You are going to go into this cosmic isolation so you can truly step into your sovereignty. So in the equalizer, nobody really knows in his day to day who he is. They're like, oh, he's a really nice guy. So his neighbors and his coworkers, they're just thinking like, oh, he's just this really nice guy. He's super kind. He's great to work with. This is what you want people to think. This is what, like, you guys are the equalizer. So comment down below if you've seen either movie. But in the equalizer, Denzel is like, he seems like this middle class I mind the business that pays me, but I'm very nice and very kind and very caring. I'm very, very charitable. Like he is like the sweetest person. Now I'm hearing, baby, I'm a gangster too. Okay. I'm a healer, but don't push me. So comment down below, baby, I'm a healer, but don't push me. Do you see in the equalizer? You know. And if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it one and two. And... Comment down below, baby, I'm a gangster too. Because everyone thinks, oh, he's a healer. They're looking at him like he's a healer. He's awesome. He's great. But don't push him because he can. He already has you clocked. You are going into this isolation so you can really amplify your gifts. So you can really tune in. Like your intuition ain't never been so keen than it's about to be. I am telling you, I am so excited. And you see that like by day, Denzel is this normal person. Mr. McCall, he's normal. This is what you want people to think. You want people to think you're normal. But what it really is, is you are the hero with the cape. 
You are the leader. You are crowned. You are royal. You are humble. And you don't have to flash it around that baby you're a gangster too. So Mr. McCall slash Denzel and the equalizer is or was in the CIA and faked his death and is out doing good like a vigilante. People are getting wronged and he's handling it. Shots fired. Really taking care of people that are being harmed. And he is the equalizer, so he gives them the opportunity to make it right. And when they don't, boom goes the dynamite. Okay? So I just love how he's CIA trained. He is the professional at being invisible. Comment down below. My cloak of invisibility is here. You are getting better and better at observing people, tapping into your psychic abilities because it is keen. Comment down below, my psychic abilities are on point. My psychic abilities are keen. They are amplified at this time. And that's what the equalizer does. He sets his timer. He gets his watch, okay? He gets his watch after he has given them the opportunity to make it right, sets it for like, 30 seconds and he can take out like six people in 30 seconds because he's observing all observ observing and absorbing what is going on at all times he's listening clairaudient to the shuffling of the cards okay this guy's over here playing poker he's looking at this guy tapping his hands. He sees that there's a shot glass next to him. He is clocking the whole room and he's going to take it out in 30 seconds like he was invisible, like he was never there. Helping others. It is insane. Like, I am that person, you guys, that people are like, oh, you've just, you're just seeing that movie. Like, and you would never know that because I love movies and I'm clear audience. You would never know from me loving editing and loving production and how it works and theater and theatrics and just loving all of that. You wouldn't think that I'm so behind on certain movies and I am. So like the equalizer came out a while ago and I just saw it like in the last month, both of them. And you guys are learning to be this. You are learning to transmute pain. Comment down below. I am transcending failure into a limitless future. Denzel loves to read and he's ex-military and he's like the best trained that there is. You are becoming the best version of yourself. Are you ready? You are going to be feeling safe. Comment down below 444. I am feeling safe. This is going to be this isolation that you're going into where you're cutting off all the loose ends. This is going to do wonders for your root chakra. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, your root chakra like goes crazy. You're like, oh my gosh, huh, I feel this, I feel that, I feel this, I can't sleep. And you're going to be feeling like calm. Like, you know what? My family's never going to be impressed. I'm good. I'm good on them. That is not easy to do, you guys. I cut off my family years ago. Years ago. And that was the best thing I did for my sanity, my peace of mind, because it was never going to be good enough. And they preferred me as an addict. They preferred me as a bum. They preferred me as a piece of shit. They preferred me in that point of view. Because they knew the whole time, whole time that I was supposed to be somebody else, that I meant for something bigger. But I'll never tap into that if I'm, you know, squandering my talents, my gifts, my abilities. So now that I'm in my sobriety, 
I've really shifted who I am night and day from the person that I used to be because I thought for a long time that I was not good enough. Whoa. So we have storms, goddess Oya. You are the storm. You are the calm before the storm. You've already given everyone opportunities. And this is why your cutoff game is about to be really strong. You have your zero fucks on deck. You gave them cycle after era, after chapter, after season. You guys gave all of these people opportunities to be a part of your life. You are now the equalizer and you are not going to mount cycle by cycle, pattern by pattern, chain by chain. Look at all these chains. You're about to break all of them. You're about to break all of them. I'm hearing breaking records. So you guys are going to be speaking up. This goddess is about speaking up and you're no longer going to care how it sounds, if it was perfect, if it was the right verbiage, you're not even going to care. You're not even going to care. I feel like when there is a divine message, nothing can really distort it. The people that are meant to hear a certain message, they will hear it. They will understand it. Even if it skips a beat, even if it's interrupted, because that message is for them and they cannot miss it. Those that are like the people you're trying to get rid of in your life that you're trying to walk away from, those people are committed to misunderstanding you. Why well, don't understand what you mean? What, what did that mean? What did this mean? Those are the people that were not meant to hear the message. It's like somebody saying, like you're not dealing with any more backhanded ish. You're speaking up. You're living out loud. You have your zero. You know what's on deck. So from now on, when somebody comes up to you and they're like, yeah, so you gave this speech and it just wasn't for me because it was it was like 98% my message, but like 2%. Then that message wasn't for you. That's literally gone all the way over your head. Be unapologetically great. Especially with the people that are committed to misunderstanding you. Because they're a fraud from Jump Street, off the rip, off the cuff. People want to stay cuffed to you. You see these links? They want to stay cuffed to you so they can continuously try to derail your teachings, undermine what you're saying, and you ain't got time to waste. That's why you are in this cosmic isolation. You ain't got time for that. I don't even acknowledge that. If it is for you, it will not miss you. If you were trying to jam up a message that is not for you, like it was this, this part, and you'll automatically know if you were heading the right direction for the gems that I'm dropping, you don't need to jam anything up. You take what you need to, you know what you're working on, and you keep it 1,000, you keep it pushing. You don't, I don't, you're going to have to explain that to me. No, I don't need to explain shit. I don't need to explain shit. What is for Whoever is watching, it will not miss them. They will understand it, whether it skips a beat or not. Nah. Comment down below. I am living out loud. I am speaking up. I am being heard. Can't nobody tell me nothing. And you're not doing this to be mean. You are just moving past anybody that's about that, that bullshit. Anybody that's about that, why would you, why would you over explain it? Why would you over exert somebody, over exert anything for somebody that's committed to misunderstanding what you're saying in the first place? That is a waste of time. Because then they think it's funny 
to get you to exert or explain yourself. That says that there's something going on with them that they're either trying to project or they're just upset about. Okay? You guys have a lot of low-key haters around you and high-key haters. And as long as you are meant for that crown, it will always be that way. You are entering the cosmic womb. Because you're mine, I walk the line. Because this, this is my purpose, I will walk the line. Because it is meant for me. Anybody that it's not meant for, they don't care about the line. They don't even know where the freaking line is. And that is okay because everyone is on a different journey. But don't try to be rude to somebody because you're not at that part yet. That part. So what I got in the pre-pull is cosmic womb, your divine feminine energy. You are going into divine isolation. You are in your most fertile circle of life right now. Intuitively keen. Heart wide open. You're effortlessly supported between realms. This is why you are going to feel so grounded and so safe like you ain't never felt before. Comment down below. I am effortlessly supported in every realm. Then we have the fool's embrace, transmuting pain. Okay, I put notes. You are letting go of how you look at pain. Okay, you are letting go of how you look at pain and the way that you identify pain. The pearl cannot be created without the gritty sand causing it discomfort. You are going to start identifying pain differently. You are going to start identifying your enemies differently. And you're going to see why you need every little bit of BS and good shit. Your pearl is discovered in radical acceptance that everything big or small has value. Then we have the spirit of the river, movement toward adventure. Right? No, we have a tidy house. Sorry. We have a tidy house. You are cleaning house in every aspect of your life, whether it's organization, by people, places, or things, your mind, your patterns, your habits. And you're looking at how you are being influenced at this time. You are clearing everyone that overpopulates what you're doing. Then we have the spirit of the river. Do you have an addiction to fixing problems? Fixing people? Let go of efforting all the time. This is something I'm learning to do is effort, efforting all the time, putting my effort in all the time. This is you stepping into the cosmic womb, your cosmic isolation, where you are divinely protected and making everything tidy. So that's why I do like, let me give you guys an example. So like the late night readings, a way for me not to exert so much energy working multiple jobs and doing multiple things and having a family, I decided, okay, when I do the late night reads, I'm going to do a card point of view because it will be less editing, way less editing, less prep time and get to the business. And I'm not over exhausted on the days that I'm already working my nine to five. So you guys are going to start learning to be unapologetically great and to not fix everything all the time and put in so much effort. Just because you're not efforting all the time does not mean that you're not putting in effort. 
And that's your divine feminine energy that you were stepping into. So I was like, okay, I can still get a message out without having to do this and that, make it a big production because it is exhausting. Absolutely exhausting. When you are trying to do spiritual work, especially it is, it can be really exhausting and you will get to a point that you don't enjoy it. So in order for you to do what you want to do, you are going to step into this energy where you're not having to, oh my gosh, I got to do effort, 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 effort. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we have heart, home, compassion. So this is about drop into your heart space and rest there for a breath or two. Drop into your heart space and rest there for a breath or two. Compassion in place of judgment. Judging others, judging yourself too harshly. Then we have the caterpillar, which is opportunity. Revise your dreams. Maybe you guys have, uh, you guys could be a Virgo. You guys could be a Liga, a Le a Le what a Leo and maybe you're looking at certain things like okay I have to make sure that my dream looks like this this is the way that I wrote it it's the way that I told it so it's got to be that way you can revise it I am doing my dream I am living my my dream but I revise it all the time you are evolving so you can revise your dream do not stall or wait for an invitation to anything, sometimes the most original response is none. Your story is unfolding. Comment down below. Sometimes the most original response is none. That's what I do. When I know somebody's in the comments about the bullshit and I just happen to see it, the original response is none. Because that's somebody that wants time, energy, that is doing the most, that is not here for the right reasons. And you guys are keenly intuitive and you know who is around you for the right reasons. You don't have to second guess that anymore. We have Dust Devil moving out of stagnation. You guys are moving out of stagnation out of stagnation. Things don't need to be perfect. The more awkward, messy, or conflicted, the more wild that it is, the better the shift. Have you guys ever done something and you were like, oh my gosh, my hair looks crazy. Oh my gosh, that was so cringy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I looked like that. I can't believe I said all that. And the most amazing things unfolded because you weren't so concerned with every little detail, you are moving out of stagnation. Then we have the perfect storm, the courage to step into life. You guys could be seeing a lot of birds and a lot of feathers right now, no matter where you are in the world. You are learning how to seize the moment, even if it's terrifying. Comment down below. I am seizing the moment. I am limitless. I am seizing the moment, even if it's terrifying. And what's cool about this, it's like a raven with peacock feathers. Like you are divinely protected while you are evolving. Crown games. The right use of power. We all have been in situations where people have abused their power, where they have not used it correctly. And the reason why you are going into this isolation right now is so you can do your healing, so you can really work on yourself and enjoy your alone time. This is how you ascend, is being by yourself, not adapting to what other people do because you're a born leader. So comment down below. 
I am stepping into my leadership. I am rocking the crown that I deserve. I have my zero. You know what's on deck. I have the right use of power. This is about a complex game because you are crowned. You ever notice that you feel like drama, spiritual warfare, or whatever is always around you? New levels, new devils. And baby, you are a gangster too. You are walking the line. You are the equalizer. And this is because you're in a complex game. Everyone around you that knew you, they knew that you were crowned. They knew that you were special. Right use of power. You're in a complex game because you are crowned. You are learning forgiveness, empowerment, and leading with humility. You're learning the price of this crown. Don't you think that like me specifically... I would love to read things about glitter, rainbow, sunshine, and all kinds of shit all the time, but that's not really what somebody crowned is about to get into. Somebody that is crowned that is about to walk into their purpose is learning the price of this crown, learning the sacrifice for this crown, the sacrifice for sovereignty, True power is used wisely. What? <laughs> True power is used wisely. Given from the divine. True power is given wisely from the divine, not from your ego. And then we have closing the door. Like how the order that these came out in, because they shot out, I was like, whoa. What? Closing the door completion. Your greater calling from you cleaning house. Closing cycles. Don't knock on closed doors. Take this as a gift. Some of you guys are like, I didn't realize that the door was actually going to open. But you've been repeating, God opens doors for me. The divine is opening doors for me. Everything always works out for me. And then you're like, the door is opening. Brittany. You're like grabbing onto my shirt. What do we do? We step into it. We step into it. Scared or not, messy or not, hair cocked to the side or not. We're walking through that door. And we don't need no new friends. You feel me? We don't need no new friends. No, no, no. So you guys are the dust devil. You are the peacock. You are the caterpillar. You have all of these opportunities coming in. And you are realizing that you are a storm angel. You are the perfect storm. You are moving towards adventure. You are feeling safe. You are speaking up. There are many people that are going to try to bring shame upon your name. Smear. Spells. Drama. Grime. But remember, you are the pearl. And you need that uncomfortable, stupid, dr dramatic grit to make you shine. You are seeing the value in all things, good or bad. The good, the bad, the ugly, the bottom line. So let's see what else we get for you guys. I just really like this message for you guys. You are stepping away from betrayal because now... You're going to really see what it looks like. You're going to have it sniffed out before it even speaks to you. You're going to have it sniffed out before it even speaks to you. And you're going to know. Mm, something ain't right with that. Pivot. Nope. You're going to, in this isolation, make your power stronger. And you're going to see why you had to go through a lot of the things that you went through. They shaped who you are. You guys are going to be feeling liberated because you got your zero, you know what's on deck. Because you're mine, I walk the line. This is what you're walking towards, freedom, your purpose, your crown. Because it's mine, 
I walk the line. I love that. Your guys' creativity is going to be in fuego. You feel me? And if you were feeling this stagnation, like, oh, I am so tired of doing the same thing. I thought this was my purpose. I thought that I loved it. You can switch it up. You can revise your dream. You don't have to put in the same efforts. Sometimes you get way more from putting in less effort and it being less perfect. Yeah. What do you think about that? Let's see. What deck should I use? We're going to use one more deck. Let's pull out some tarot. That's what we're going to finish with. I'm going to hit the bell. No one can bring shame upon your name. I'm hearing that. No one can bring shame upon your name. No one can bring shame upon your creativity. They can try. They can try. It won't work. It won't work. Five of Pentacles. Every time they try, they'll get this. Five of Pentacles. The more people try, the worse it will be for them. You guys are getting a new beginning in your emotions because you are dropping into your heart space. And you're staying there. You want to snuggle up and reside there. Wow. This is incredible. You guys are doing a lot of shadow work too in regards to betrayal. Okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, you are doing shadow work in regards to betrayal. So like... When your shadow wants to say hello because people are trying you. When you want to step into the drama. When you want to step into your ego and just let your shadow lead the way. You guys are going to be doing shadow work with how you look at betrayal. Like I look at betrayal, the ten of swords. Painful, painful situations over and over and over again. The repetitive hamster wheel of dog shit. I realize that some of the biggest, most painful things I ever endured, they brought me something really important, really important. My addiction, it brought me a beautiful life that I would not appreciate without the life that I previously lived. The abusive relationships that I was in, I would not appreciate my husband to the moon and back if I had not gone through that pain. Going without food, without shelter, without a home, without clothes, and certain things that I needed as a child makes me have an unbelievable amount of gratitude when things are going awry, when there isn't enough. I know that there will be. I know that God will provide. You will have a different appreciation because you will be so grateful for these stupid people, for the, these fucked up situations. You guys will be so grateful. I've gone through a lot of painful things with family, but it's like God knew that I needed it to be that freaking painful, that freaking stupid to walk away. Like we got to for me, I'm, I'm from the school of hard knocks. It's got to be freaking unforgivable if you are close to me for me to cut you off. Because I am a very compassionate person. But I have learned to put a, a leash on that. I have learned to put a leash on this. Because now I'm tapping into my intuition and I know what's right and I know what's wrong. People can tell you, oh, it is not right that you cut off your family. That's bad. You're a bad daughter. Have your zero fucks on deck. Do you feel me? Have your zero fucks on deck. Why do I need to explain it to Lindy Luhu down the street that I don't talk to them? I don't fuck with them like that. I got to go through all the trauma? No, I don't. I don't need to explain it. No. No, no. You're coming out with a new perspective. You are coming out with a new perspective. You 
are now invisible behind the betrayal. You are the equalizer. You gave everybody the opportunity. Don't let them get it twisted. They had you all the way effed up. They had you all the way effed up. Yeah. They didn't want you to bring life. Like, whoever I'm speaking to, you give life. You breathe life. And when people are knocking you down and knocking you down and you're like, why? I just want to be accepted. I just want them to love me. I just, I don't understand. When you are meant to step into this type of purpose, you're well, going to have a lot of friends. And it's okay. Because as we are going through this isolation, we will see who is right for us. Because not everybody is right for us. There are certain things that we're going to go through while we're doing this spiritual work, while we're doing this healing, while we're doing this inner child healing. Okay, a lot of you guys are going to be doing shadow work and in inner child healing. I want you guys, if you guys are doing inner child healing, I want you to think of something that you really enjoyed doing as a child. I don't care how... Confirmation. I don't care how dumb it sounds. I don't care if it's a coloring book, going someplace... Do that for you. For you. I have my little ponies back there. Do you think it's because I'm like, ah, like walking around with them? No, that is for my inner child. Okay. This wand that I have, this is for my inner child. This balloon that my husband got me, that is for my inner child. These are things that I enjoy that I feel like... I didn't get enough of as a child. I, don't, I was stripped of a lot of different things and so were you, if this is your message. You're going to be looking at betrayal differently. You are not delusional to get rid of the things that you're getting rid of in your life that don't serve a purpose anymore. You're closing out the cycle and you're learning the lesson of, yeah, okay, I get it. For some of you guys, this could be a sister. <clears throat> you guys could be, uh, some of you guys could be having an issue with a sister and you've been trying to balance this relationship because you feel like, I know that we can get along. Sometimes we can get along, but they're committed to misunderstanding you. So now what? There are certain betrayals that you could have gone through with a mother or a sibling. That you're going to officially walk away from when you're ready. You're officially going to walk away from it when you're ready because you're seeing they're, they're not ever done poking the bear. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're not ever done poking the bear. They get a kick out of it. They're always trying to summon you. They're always trying to mate like, and that's another thing. Whoever this is, they're always trying to summon you. Like they're the boss of you. And this person walks around like they have mastered being the empress when that is you. You could feel like Cinderella. You could love that story. Because this is something similar to what you've gone through. You're going to be rocking the crown that you deserve. And it doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to look perfect. Five of Cups. You are disappointed. It is okay to be disappointed that you cannot change everybody. You could have had an addiction to changing others around you. In relationships, whether this is family or people that you're dating, and I feel like it's important to, when you're first dating, you know, like you're newly single and you're dating people, it's important to not just lock in on just one person, okay? And I know I've told you guys this before in another reading, so somebody needs to hear this. Sometimes when you are starting to date and that one person that is maybe not good for you wants you to be the one that they, they want to be your one and only they want you to be isolated they don't want you to have a bunch of family or friends and you put all your eggs in that basket because you think that you can fix them 
We all need to just let people be who they are because people will naturally shift if they're meant to around us. They will be inspired to do so. We don't need to give them ultimatums to stay. We don't need to give them ultimatums to get better or to do right by us. They will do better or they will not. And this is where you feel really hurt and disappointed. And I understand that pain. I really wanted my family like, oh, I'm sober now. Like they're gonna treat me better. They're gonna treat me better. They did the opposite of that. They perpetuated it. Perpetuated it. In a smear campaign. I think at the time that that happened, I was about to be five years sober. So I wasn't, wasn't, wasn't new to it. And they decided to, mm, well, this doesn't fit our narrative. So you guys are learning not to put all your stock in one person if they are not willing to treat you right. And sometimes, yeah, we'll be disappointed and some people are gonna be disappointed in us that they didn't make the cut. And it's okay. Some people are gonna be shocked that they didn't make the cut, that they weren't allowed to steal from you one more time. That's okay. That is okay. Seven, oh my gosh, seven of swords. There are dishonest people around you, but now you're going to know how to maneuver around them. You can't fix them. And I understand that you guys like, it's like having so much compassion and understanding why they are the way that they are and giving them olive branch after platform, after opportunity to make it right. And they choose deception every time. And it's like, it's frustrating but we can't make people fit into our lives that don't necessarily belong. And then sometimes a very hard lesson to learn. People are looking at you like you are very rebellious. How dare you try to lead the people as if you are divine, as if you are in this sovereignty. How dare you? Because you are doing it in an unconventional way. You are the Hierophant in reverse. Reverse, reverse. Everybody clap their hands. <laughs> but seriously. Have your zero you-know-whats on deck. Because you are learning to become unapologetically freaking amazing. What I really love about this energy too is the moon in reverse. The secrets that are being revealed to you at this time is how to preserve your energy. And learning how to do this is going to make you freaking unstoppable. Unstoppable. Like. It's going to have you in your feelings. You're going to be so proud of yourself on the things that you're learning to master. I'm so freaking happy for you guys. King of Wands. The lion moves for no one. Used to be like, oh, is that crown for me? I mean, I, let me just put it on over here. Let me just face this mirror over here and put my crown on because everyone's giving me the side eye. No, no, no. You're not even going to need a mirror. You're going to look at them and you're going to. Make your sovereignty assume the position. You are fearless. You are confident. You are the goat, the greatest of all time. Anything you do is epic. Anything. Galactic. Authentic. You choose happiness. You already know what this feels like. You already know what being in your cups, numbing the pain, the disappointment, the shame, the sadness, the depression, you know what this feels like. And this is not the type of isolation you're going into. You're like, I might be new to this, 
but I choose to, to be by myself right now. Okay, some of you guys could be with your divine counterpart, and you know what I mean by yourself. Like, I don't mean like you're, close, like you're going off the grid, you know, metaphorically. You're going to realize the power in your boundaries. And the only people that are going to be around you are the people that are like you. The people that are like you. Wow. You guys are tapping into treasure and you are safe to move towards this. You are safe to move towards this. And you guys are going from, oh my gosh, holding, holding my, like, Brittany, why are we going in there? It's fine. We're going in there. We're going in there. Get your flashlight. We're going in there. <laughs> okay. It's going from that to, oh, these are all the people that I love. All the people that are doing what I do. I'm going to twirl. I'm good. You're realizing like your treasure's in there. Your crown is in there. Like-minded people are in there. Your soul tribe is in there. Your purpose is in there. Baby, I'm a gangster too. Because it's mine, I walk the line. And people are going to act like you can't walk no line. Like what Reese Witherspoon, June Carter tells Johnny Cash, y'all can't walk no line. You're going to show people. I might twirl on that line. I might twerk on that line. I might pop a handstand on that line. But it's my line. I have no explaining to do for you. None. 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 Your cutoff game is strong. You're going to fill up your cup first. Instead of giving everyone your oxygen, your healing energy, you are figuring out how to give it to yourself first. You're figuring out how to, you know, like the five different love languages. You are loving and loving and loving on yourself and you deserve that. You deserve that with every fiber of your being. You deserve that. So I'm damn proud of you guys. This is like the best reading ever, ever, ever. Okay. Shall we pull out a card for advice? Yes, we should. Yes, we should. And then we're going to get an angel number for you guys. I wanted to get the deck with, that I have with the crowns. Because you are crowned. You are revising your dreams. Wow, we have rocking. You are weaving together the crown that you deserve. Comment down below. Through the thorns lies my crown. Through the thorns lies my crown. I am weaving together the crown that I deserve. I am ready for anything. I am ready for anything. I have my zero, you know what's on deck. Take no ish, do no harm. I am slowing down to enjoy the feast. Like, this is what your isolation is going to look like. It's not going to be like curtains for you. It's going to be amazing because you're going to be in, you're creating your sanctuary. You're going to be spending a lot of time at home and with yourself, one with yourself, out in nature, doing things that you love. Like, getting to know yourself again. Making the change. So you got the sword out, chopping it off. Chopping the hair off. So you guys are chopping off the dead weight. You're skimming the weight. Chopping the weight. People wanted to keep skimming off the top of your blessings. People wanted to keep skimming off the top of your blessings. No. You got. Capiche? Ugats, ugats I give. They wanted to keep skimming off the top of your blessings. No one skims the skim. No one gets those blessings but you. Expectations. Do not seek anyone's approval. Because you don't stink and blink and need it. You don't stink and... You got fairies around you. Orbs around you. White light around you. Protection around you. Remember, you are effortlessly supported in every realm. You are effortlessly supported in every realm. You are not for everybody. 
You ain't supposed to be because you're a leader. You lead. You don't need the opinion of the sheep that aren't even ready or prepared to go where you're going. It's like you're going on the moon and you guys got people that haven't even ever worked at NASA telling you how to get there. Where do they do that at? Whole demons the house. Oh, to get to the moon? Um, you're going to need this, you're going to need that, you're going to need this. You're like, you are not qualified. Good day. <laughs> okay, You are not qualified. Good day. And you weren't even going to say all that. You weren't even going to say all that. You're going to realize you don't have to say nothing at all. Nothing at all. Because I know I wrote it down. It was, there is, you have power in your boundaries. Where did I write it down? I can't find it. I thought I wrote it down. Oh, the most original response is none. Comment down below. The most original response is none. Somebody wants to turn you into stardust. You are being activated. Somebody wants to make you feel like, oh, we're just, you know, we're this or we're that. Like, they want you to feel like what you're doing is pointless. Justice is coming. Winter is coming. You guys know Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. Justice is coming. Honey, baby, drop your crowns down below. Okay, drop your swords down below. Drop your microphones down below. Because for a very long time, you did not put yourself first. For a very long time. And this is about making you your own first priority. Mural, be your own first priority. The end. You guys are going to be getting your creative juices flowing because you're going to be doing for you. You're going to be doing for you. And I forgot that I pulled out this deck for you guys and I charged it. So I need to pull it out. I didn't even realize that I did because I haven't pulled it out in a long time. So we're going to get a couple from this deck and we're going to get your guys' angel number. I hope you guys are enjoying this reading. And I can't wait to read your guys' confirmations down below. Cosmic Ruby, you are a peace ambassador. So if you're going to be the ambassador of peace, wouldn't you have to know how to have that in your life? Absolutely. That's why you're going into this cosmic isolation. You are the pearl. You are the ruby. You are the sapphire. Practice cosmic mastery. Comment down below. I am practicing cosmic mastery. You are not for everybody, okay? Unicorns are awesome. Are they for everybody? No, they're for awesome people that like, that are meant for that shit. You feel me? You guys know what I mean, <laughs> okay? So, cosmic diamond, spread hope and joy. You're about to illuminate the world. By standing in your authenticity, you're about to illuminate the world. You guys are getting a lot of answers. Wow, that's beautiful. You guys are getting a lot of answers right now. You guys could be seeing angel number 333, 1111, 111. Access your gifts. Treasure chest, accept who you truly are. Told you guys, look at all these fairies and dragonflies and things that have freaking wings. You are opening a treasure chest. Like, remember when I was like, we're like going towards that. That door that's like, we're like, what is behind that door? But we know that's where we're supposed to be going, but we're like scared. And we're tugging to each other like, <gasps> we're, why are we going through there? Oh, there's treasure in there. Whole time there's treasure in there. We in it now. Okay, we in it now. Cocoon. You guys. What? Cocoon of white light. The cosmic womb, the download that I got about this cosmic isolation, and we have the cocoon of white light. Holy shit. This is better than an invisible cloak, a cloak of invisibility like Harry Potter, okay? Comment down below, I am in the cocoon of white light. I rest in perfect love. 
and I understand oneness. Comment down below. I rest in perfect love. I understand oneness. Drop your butterflies down below. Drop your unicorns down below. Holy cow. Wow. Then we have open to abundance. Yeah, you guys believe that you deserve. Accept plenty. Accept plenty. Comment down below. I accept plenty. Not a little bit. Take it for you. Because the more that you're loving on yourself, the more that you're going to see that you deserve that. So I got things about the ruby, the pearl, the diamond, and the sapphire. And I literally thought to myself as I was reading that the diamond, I thought the only thing that I'm missing is the, the emerald. Guess what this unicorn is wearing on its head? An emerald. Like what? Open to abundance. I believe that I deserve. Comment down below. I believe that I deserve. I'm accepting plenty. Okay? I don't have the clackers, but I'm accepting plenty. Okay? I deserve this prosperity. You guys are about to shake everyone up because you have your zero you know what's on deck. On deck. Enter the magic. Seize the moment, live in the now. And this is what you want to do. You're like, I'm so tired of worrying about the future, the future, the future, tomorrow, 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 the list that I made for tomorrow, the list that I made for next week, whatever it is. And you're going to start living in the moment more. That's why you're going to go into this isolation and you're coming out a whole new broad. You're coming out a whole new person. Oh, I'm hearing a whole new world, a whole new world. From Aladdin, you are the emerald, the ruby, the diamond, the pearl. Did I say that? I don't know. But everything is awesome. Comment down below. Everything is awesome. Oh, your angel number. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Hold on. Everything is awesome. Wow. We got two, one, eight. Two, one, eight. Let me face it this way. Where's my little magic wand? Angel number two, one, eight. I love it. I want you guys to do something for your inner child. Drop your favorite affirmations. Yes, several. Say it with me. Yes, Brittany, I will drop several affirmations because I deserve this prosperity. You deserve this peace, the sanctuary that you're building. You deserve the isolation, the level up, the crown, the sovereignty. You deserve it all. And you ain't for everybody. Take no shit. Do no harm. Because you're going to be doing you. You're going to be opening that door and you're going to be shocked. Like, wow, loving on myself wasn't this bad. It's not that bad. Isolating myself isn't that bad. You're about to be your own best friend. Being your own best friend is like the best. Like, duh. But yeah, you guys comment down below what's going on. I would love to hear from those this resonates with. And I just love reading your guys' confirmations. Drop your favorite affirmation. Don't forget to smash the you know what. Hit the bell, duh. Okay. And just thank you guys for all of your likes, your shares, your comments. Thank you for all your support on my channel and for me being able to do what I do for you guys, for the collective. And I'm just, we're a family here. This is a safe space for all beliefs. So you guys be kind to one another in the comments. And I just appreciate you guys. And thank you guys for all of your donations. I've got some more new decks coming. I'm so excited. We've gotten like, I've gotten like 20 new decks for the channel and some new equipment. And I'm just so excited. I'm so thankful. I'm in such an echo chamber of, I am in such an echo chamber of gratitude. I cannot say thank you enough.
thank you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one.